Hello, welcome to our new demo day. Today we have a lot of good updates. Uh, with us today we have Victor, Paul, Alex, Matche, uh, a lot of team members. Uh, but the only people doing demos today are Don, Victor, and Paul. Uh, the first one that we have is Don, our tech lead. Also, hello, Don. Hello, hello. So, for X, I'll be demoing XBI today. Um, for this sprint, we were, well, actually, last sprint, we were hoping to prove that XBI works, and that's the channel end to end. Um, so, we were hoping to have a demonstration that proves that we can do something like uh, XCM ping pong, but over XBI. So, <clears throat> let me share my screen. And I'm doing that. Awesome, you can see my screen. And so it's gone through a level of evolution. Initially, it was just me kind of deploying two parachains and then uh, going through Polkadot.js back and forth and checking if it works. It was taking a long time. So we was looking for an integration test suite. Uh, and that's what we eventually started using an uh, XCM emulator. Uh, it's a derivative of XCM simulator, which is in the, the, the Apache repo. So uh, if I just quickly explain how that works, you how you deploy a, a relay chain, uh, and this works by sent. Uh, the difference between the emulator and the simulator is the simulator doesn't send the messages, the emulator does, and uses uh, real runtimes. So th that's pretty cool. Um, and then, so this is a relay chain using Rococo. And this is kind of the test network, how it gets set up, and uh, the usual kind of stuff that you get um, when you do integration tests. Um, and so you can see here I've got two parachains. Um, one's called Slim, one's called Slender. They're kind of the, the, the same thing. I, I chose Slender because it's something like Slim, and Slim was the Slim runtime I was using. And uh, let me go to that, actually. So. Uh, how that gets set up is uh, you literally just go here, you declare the parachain, and you provide the ID um, using Tormato <laughs> versus Slim Slender, of course. Um, and then you define integration tests like this. So you set up the network. This is what you want to call over XCM. And then you you set up just force a XCM version. And then you send the message. And then you literally just test the events and just make sure the, the events work. So I made an integration test here, which is, um, dun, dun, dun. it's here, so XBI ping pong. So if I talk about the test, so we set up a request because we want to do a request reply over XBI. Um, we provide some metadata. Metadata is we want to send a message to the destination power chain number two, uh, come from number one much like SBI metadata we pass uh, in the past. And then we change this to a flat field for cost limits. So we provide uh, max exact costs, notification costs. And that's, that, that actually hooks right into uh, XCM transact. So here we are using the portal to send an XBI message, send the message we just sent. And then we prove that it works. We prove that we, at the moment, we're sent, we're emitting a lot of debugging events, so XBI, can, we can prove it works. And then here's where we assert on the destination parachain we receive some events. So we assert that we receive an event, we handle the instruction, and then we assert at the end of it that we have handled the request, and then we assert that we actually sent the result back. And then the same here is that we receive the message back from the for the result and that we also start handling some queue events here so the queue is uh to come but largely that is going to check various things like the cost and timeouts and things like that so if i run the test and then if i go here here's some events so i will unwrap it for now but so here we can prove that we sent it. The, the request we sent was uh, just a get price instruction. But if I just talk to you about the timestamps is, so we have timeouts, which the user sets to say, hey, I want this to be run in 9,600 seconds. But then we also add a timesheet to that. So we say, hey, it was submitted at this block. It was also sent at this block because we're using the request, request reply flow, so it's synchronous. And then 
we assert that it was delivered. So when the receiver parachain receives it, it puts its timestamp on to say, hey, I've received that message and then I've handled that message and then I've sent that message back and then the uh, sender parachain says, hey, I received your, your result. Excuse me. And then at the very end, we prove that the timesheet is full. So it was submitted, sent, delivered, executed, responded. And so the next step would be to obviously have loads of conversions for kind of what that means. Because at the moment, um, we don't have access to uh, uh, collate a local time. And so we just need to figure out some conversions and what it means to be one on destination and source and how we apply those uh, va those validations to the queue. And here we can prove that the queue was popped. That's it from me. I appreciate that it was a very long demo and kind of fast, but that's it. Awesome, all clear. Thank you, Don, for the update. Uh, now we have another player from the Bing Pond. Uh, Victor, are you here with us? Yep, yep, yep. Um, good day, guys. Um, so over the past few weeks, um, we've been working on a network starts page for Tern, and um, yeah, um, we've done the design, and currently we are building um the um page as we speak. Um, so today, um, I will share my screen and share you the progress so far. Um. Let me know when you can see my screen. Cool. Yep, looking good. Okay, yeah. Um, so here is the stats page. Um, uh, keep in mind the this data are actually not um real data, they are still dummy data, um, because we are still working on the page. Um so over here we have um the network um stats. Um uh we have um our um side effects distribution, some some stats, stats you need to know, and um, yeah, stick funds. Um, and um, and in the spring to come, uh, we are going to work on this um table, and uh, yeah, and that will complete um this stats page, and after that um we kind of connect it connect this to um subsquid. and yeah, uh, and we're done with um our network stats page. Um, this is currently not um available for production, but yeah, um, we get it very soon. So uh, nice, nice. I think I'm done with my demo. Awesome, thank you. Really, really nice work on that side effects part. Uh, looks really bright, really clear. Uh, who's next? We have uh Paul. Hey, Paul. Hi everyone, uh, quick demo from my side. So, <laughs> what are you laughing about here? Um, but you implemented uh, one new feature which is called executor bidding, um, which I wrote, the, I integrated into the CLI. Uh, so we'll just do a quick demo of that. Uh, so we're just gonna create a transfer side effect. This has like some, some defaults. I really have to fix these duplicate error things that have been annoying me for a while, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, so yeah, we see new side effect uh, with the, also now we have like the insurance and the max reward stuff and essentially an executor, the idea is they can like bid on the reward that they receive. Um, so bid lower. So right now the reward is one. Let's say the executor bids on the side effect of this ID. Let's say he wants to pay 0 0.7. He will receive 0 0.7 turn. Um, And there we go, we have a new bit. Not the most exciting demo, but it's pretty cool uh, if you, like what it means, because we now have like competition between executors, which is gonna be important for having good fees. Um, at the same time, I have been working on our TypeScript SDK package. We can maybe go through that real quick um, and ported the CLI to it. So now we have like error decoding. So here we have the package. And we have like our gateway abstractions, which can do all the conversions for us, um, does encoding for transfers, it ensures the addresses uh, encoded properly. 
Um, one big thing is the amounts conversion so that we get the correct float to uh, UN conversion, which is really like annoying if you do like cross-chain stuff where every chain or token can have a different setup. So the idea of the SDK is to take all that burden away. Um, yeah, there's different stuff. Uh, um, yeah, so right now I'm working on the executors using SDK, uh, SDK also and to include to make it like reactive um, so that we have like prices in the profit calculation which can change that um, executors watch the prices they see the bids we have a bidding engine now or getting there at least where like you can formulate a strategy of when to add a bid and at what price point and stuff so i mean yeah it's interesting stuff executors are super complicated if you really want to make them cool um and yeah so we now have a bit of a uh, TypeScript SDK Foundation uh, to make that happen. That's it from my side. Awesome. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I believe that's it for today's demo day. Uh, feel free to watch all the awesome and beautiful videos we have here on the channel. Uh, we released uh, more types of videos. So if you click any, I mean, everyone knows how to use YouTube, right? So just click the channel and watch the, the rest of the videos. Uh, we also release really good blogs. So feel free to watch that and join Telegram and Discord, everything for more development updates. We have specific uh, dev channels on Discord. So that's really good. And the dev talk runs much better there. So thank you so much. We wish you a really good day. And yeah, bye. Mm -hmm.